I thought we should make a video just to explain the uh, settings and preferences that we use in Nucoda and Phoenix. We have a series of files that is in the C directory where Nucoda and Phoenix uh, are installed in uh, C Nucoda or uh, C Phoenix and then within the version of the software that we're using we have a root directory. Now most of these directories actually contain uh, preset or configuration files. So for example CMS will contain our LUTs, uh, logs will contain log files uh, for in case support uh, requires any logs. Same with mini dumps. Monitor graphs, monitor grids, HUDs, masks and warnings all contain uh, files that have to do with uh, setting up or customizing uh, heads up displays, uh, adding logos to heads up displays, uh, uh, creating your own masks and uh, customizing warnings. So for example, if we go to the masks and open this, I'm going to use Notepad++, which is a excellent free text editor. And you'll see over here that this is really a text file, very much laid out, similar to HTML. And these masks are simple rectangles that are set up to uh, display a mask on the screen with, um, for example, monitor warnings. These are the ones that come up when you're in source mode. Uh, and it's just to warn you that, um, that you're in, in a particular mode. Over here, play source mode active, play effects input mode. These can be changed to anything you want to. So we use text files extensively in Nucoda and Phoenix to customize. We have a panel folder in here, um, presets, a system folder, and a user folder. If we look inside presets, there's uh, some files in here. The uh, default order for our effects that we use and under users we have a whole lot of other preset files uh, for example color hotkeys uh, clip preferences what clip preferences will do is we can set up how we would like particular clips to be imported so for example we can uh, specify array raw to always create a clone or to be 8-bit or to be a uh, half. So these are all things that can be uh, very easily set up. Now one of the one of the questions that we come across most when a new user is installing the software is when we run the software for the first time very often you'll find the following dialog box invalid directory warning and you'll see there's a whole lot of directories that are required for Nucoda to work. So we've got the directory for our projects, where our thumbnails go, where we would store audio, a temporary directory, a directory for our notes or presets, where we would store our composition notes, and where we would export images to. Now, the first time that we run Nucoda, we create a file called General Prefs. And although we have a lot of preferences in Nucoda, the ones for the drives are not in the preferences list. I have to go and edit a text file. And that text file, after you've run it for the first time, you will find there's a file in C Nucoda version root users, all users called General Prefs. If you double click on that and you scroll down, you will find a little area which is marked as media over here. And it's in this area where you would set up the requirement uh, where you would set up your drives. We would recommend that the cache the, and the proxy and the capture would be your fast disk. The AVID directory would be uh, wherever your AVID media files are. If you have 
Avid Media Files. Your notes, compositions, and projects should be on, uh, it doesn't have to be on a fast drive, it could be on your D drive. Um, by default, we use S and D. So you will find uh, you might have a problem if you don't have those drives. So you can set it up in the general press file. If we go back into Nucoda, I still haven't set those up. Of course, I'm going to have the same problem. You will notice that down here, we have a setup for thumbnails, cache, proxy, and very soon audio. And these can be turned on per project. So once you have projects and you decide that you would like to put your cache for that project somewhere else, you can do it. I, uh, I hope this has been helpful and not too confusing. If you have any questions, please join us on our Google forum, uh, which is um, Nucoda. If you do a search for Nucoda uh, uh, Google group, you'll find it there. I will also put the address on the screen. And uh, I hope that you found it helpful. Any questions will be welcomed.